hello and welcome to the show. Welcome back to The Long Drive, where last time just about everything went wrong, to be honest with you. Uh, this time out, hopefully things are going to go a little bit more to plan. Why is there water in the dish? That shouldn't be there. I didn't think I'd managed to do that, but I'm not even, let's not even ask the questions. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, where many, many, many things have gone wrong so far. Uh, we had a bus, we had a bunch of parts, we lost a load of stuff, we're now stuck with this car. Uh, the bus, I mean, the bus still exists and everything. Uh, the problem is, I could go back to the bus and try and fill the radiator up with what we've got left in this car. The problem is, that's probably still not going to move the bus and then this car doesn't work. So, we're probably going to stick with this car. Last time out, we had some issues with this thing doing, like, a backflip, which it doesn't seem to be doing this time anymore. Huh, so I came back here, so I was about to say, I'm heading over back to here because when you reload the game, stuff respawns. <laughs> I don't know whether my bus will have despawned, because it was quite a long way away. Entertainingly, another random bus has actually spawned here. A red bus! It has no wheels, so we can't do anything with it. I wonder if... Okay, right, hold on. Let's, let's first of all, let's first of all check what have we got. Have I got anything I can use? We've got some oil, that's good. Oh, okay, we've got some more gas, that's also good. Let's check for rabbits and all of that sort of sneaky bugger uh, stuff. We, we're going to want the petrol. I just came back, I also got to put the light bar on the car. The only reason I drove off last time was actually to check the car was working. Um... But yes, when, when, when you reload, stuff respawns in these places. Uh, so we can hopefully... There's all of this stuff here, like, yeah, so alcohol and all that stuff there will respawn. What have we got in here? Oh, so we've got some tyres. We've got all sorts of bits of tyres around the place. And different gun. We already have a gun. I don't need another gun. Uh, I believe it's all the same. Uh, what have we got under here? Wait, is that a coolant tank? Oh, yeah, okay, there's a whole coolant tank going on wing mirrors, wheels, and all of that good stuff. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like a trailer has spawned, so I can't bring the bike with me at the moment. Uh, right. Okay, so we've got some more stuff here. That's good. Fuel is probably my biggest concern with this car. Uh, the so There is a water tower not too far in the distance. Uh, let's go and pick this up so we can hopefully fill up the radiator in the car. I think what I'm going to do is we're going to stick with the car for now, with the goal of being get to a point where it is more sensible, where we have got a better, you know, amount of stuff, and then we can look at getting a bus because we tried to rush it and I did it wrong, and we're just not in a position. We're not in a position now to. If we try to get the bus, I run the risk of completely getting stuck. I don't know how mean the game is, but I get the feeling this is the sort of game that uh, you get stuck, you are done for, really. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to uh, at least try and keep moving. The goal will be we will hopefully get a bus at some point in the near future. Although apparently buses have their own issues as well. Oh, there is an easier way to throw stuff around than the way I'm doing stuff, because of course there is. Uh, do we have... I'm hoping I can find like a big tub of water rather than doing this the dumb way that was fill stuff up with little bits. That's just a whole, that's a load of oil in there. Damn. Uh, I don't really want to have to go like individual bottles again. Um, that's a tiny bit of gas. That's some diesel. Uh, that's empty. That, that is when there's no water around here. There's blood again. I don't even want to know what goes on. I love that like, just when you reload the game you just get this another attempt. Oh, well, whatever was in there is not in there anymore. Yeah, there's another attempt to explore. It's a little bit cheeky, you know, well, I won't abuse it. Uh, you know, I have got to save the game at some point and everything. Uh, so, yeah, if stuff reloads, then we'll go for it. Oh, there's an interior to the other bus as well. Uh, oh, wow, it doesn't actually have anything. Oh, the engine's gone as well. <laughs> I was going to go in here because people told me you can lift up the four panels, which does make sense. I forgot about it, uh, to work on the bus. But this one here has not nothing. Oh, it's got... Oh, it's got a load of gas. Can you run the things on gas? I can't siphon that because I don't have a snake anymore. Um, booger. <laughs> it is full of gas. I wonder why it broke down. Did somebody have like a big gas can? And they thought, oh yeah, we'll fill the bus up. We'll work, work, last forever. I, mean, I guess in theory you could maybe put the car engine in it. But I don't think that would go very quickly if you did. Right. 
Okay, so petrol-wise, we're full. Oil-wise, we're full. Well, I'll take the jerry cans with me because we're going to need to try and fill them up. Come here. Go into the boot. And oh, the reason why, for those saying I'm not going back to the ship that I saw on the binoculars, that's the ship I went to before. That's the ship from a very long time ago. Um, that's the one I've picked up stuff from. It has already been explored. It, I don't know if ships respawn stuff or quite how it works. Uh, oh, wait, okay, that attaches at the angle it's at. <laughs> I thought it was going to attach. I don't know why I thought it might attach, you know, at a nice sensible angle. But I was going to go for some more lights on the front of my car. Uh, maybe not. Can you go anywhere, like, sensibly? Oh, okay, maybe don't do that. You know what? I'm actually going to not bother. Uh, oh, you know what? I'll stick it in the boot, and at some point, maybe I will decide to have a fight with a light bar. I should just even look at a light bar anymore. I don't think that is a light bar. I think that's just a girder. That by the looks of it, you could maybe use to maybe use like like a do a makeshift roof rack or something along those lines. I guess. Uh, right. What have we got in here? A lot of wheels, a lot of blow-up friends, some tires that they all look quite crap tires. To be honest with you. Ooh, one of those. I do want that. That's good stuff, apparently. So we'll bring this with us. So this can replace, uh, replenish like tires and things. Uh, and it can do body work, but there are other stuff for body. I think this is the only thing that can fix tires, from what I have been told. So we're going to load the car up with goodies. Um, my tires and so on don't look too bad, so we're going to keep it for now. Um, the bike, unfortunately, is going to have to stay. I'm going to try and poke my head up through the roof. See what we got. Oh, Christ! Can we? Can we? Okay. I don't know what that is. At all. Um, I don't know what... Oh, okay, that's, that's on... I'm going to break some things there if we keep doing that. You are oil, which we have some of. Uh, what are you over here? Can I... I just wanted to see what stuff was. Uh, can I crouch, jump and crouch, jump and crouch? Glitchy, angry physics about to happen or push you off the edge. Either one works. Oh, no. What are you? E. Music sort of box. Yes, that is what I need on my car. Ah, I just want to get the. I want to see what's in it. It could be water or something. I've thrown it. Oh, it's over in a more difficult to bloody reach place now. It's gas. Okay, it was worth it. We want that. Uh, whoop! Drop down here. Pick up this. Yeah, any any petrol is going to be really helpful. Said and this car is way more efficient than the other ones that we have worked with. And I know we start with about three liters of fuel to begin with, um, but yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play it safe. Really, if you know four liters is better than three. Also, people told me how to throw stuff on the game like that. Hold F and you can chuck stuff into oblivion. I should check in here, because knowing my luck, if I don't, there's going to be something. No, it's just disgusting. Uh, <laughs> I knew if I didn't, there would be something useful in there. I'm trying to figure out whether any of these tyres are worth taking that. Uh, wheel here might be of some use, just in case. Uh, it looks a bit battered, but it's the right size wheel. Now, we can put you can put all sorts of wacky size wheels on the cars if you want. Uh, at the moment... Ooh, okay, there's a sponge down there. I didn't see that before. At the moment, I'm just going to take ones that will actually be useful to the car because I'm a little bit dubious about uh, my prospects in some ways. Uh, right, check that out the door. <laughs> okay, tyre. You're a bit... I mean, this is like a bit crap, but... It's better than a punctured tyre, and if a tyre falls off the car, which if a wheel falls off a car, which can happen, you know, I want a backup or two. So here we go. Plonk that in the back seat. I'm not sure if this is the same size wheel and tyre, but look, when it's the apocalypse and you've got to kind of make do with whatever you can find, this will do. Come on. That's, the third. That's close enough. This is Definitely not going to be all manners of glitchy and weird. Definitely not. Sponge, before we leave, before we set off, let's give the car a good clean, shall we? Uh, tab to equip it. Here we go. Make it nice and shiny. That's the goal here. <laughs> oh, that's the ticket. Can I... Is this as nice as shiny? No, no, it can go shinier. It can go shinier with the green, I think. I think? 
I thought the particle fence means it could go shinier, but maybe not. Okay, well, we'll do the bonnet then. That can definitely go shinier. Yeah, like that. I think our sponge is still maybe good. Oh, actually, the car, I mean, the car is in pretty good nick. I will give it that much. Oh, wait, what about this back door here? This one here looks like it could do with a bit of a polish. Um, yeah, the car is actually in not bad nick at all. Okay, now the sponge is cracked. Uh, there we go. And throw! Not, you know, I've got a good throw, that's for sure. Right, okay, we're good. We're set. We've got a boot full of goodies. We've got a car full of petrol. Not much coolant, but we are good to go here. We're going to be on the look. Oh, people did also say I can use cacti uh, to get water. You can use the cactus to get water. You can then drink the water and then you can pee into stuff. Because your character doesn't so much need water to survive as you are like a walking jerry can. I believe whatever you drink, you can then pee out. So you can drink gas and then pee out gas in theory. I think that I might be wrong. That's what I have read and been told. But it is the internet. I don't ever trust the internet, so it might be complete bollocks. Uh, somewhere along here there's a water tower. Also, interestingly, that watchtower, I mean that watchtower is right there. It would be remiss of me not to go and check it. It's literally just off here. Now, these can be a little uh, dicey trying to climb up and around. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any of the evil rabbits about to give us some grief. Um, there's not likely to be much here either. The, <laughs> the watchtowers don't generally consist of very much. Um, but, I mean, there's a can in the roof. If that is something helpful, I will not turn it down. Uh... Oh, and there is a revolver. What are you? I think it said empty. Oh, what am I going to do with this? I haven't got any bullets for it. Yoink. Uh, <laughs> don't think there's anything else here. Uh, oh, dear. Okay, there we go. Down the side. Now, I have sometimes found uh, occasionally like cans balance on the beams around, but it doesn't look like there's anything here. Uh, what have you got in you? Anything of any use to me? One litre of gas. Sweet. Uh, we're getting there. Now, I could equip this, but I haven't got any bullets for it. So, for now, you can go in the boot with the rest of the stuff, because uh, I can't really use you yet. <laughs> the boot is for things that are possibly of use at some point, but currently... Oh, I didn't uh, close the filler cap. Well done, me. And you've got enough jerry cans of varying sizes. Right, shiny car. Shiny two-tone car. Let us continue our great journey. I mean, today we have already made more progress than we made in the entire 50 minutes of last episode. We have actually gone somewhere. Which is helpful. Uh, actual actual progress has been made. I know, I know as far as like the end game goes, this road goes on. I think somebody says like 5,000 kilometers? I think. You know, there's, the, end, the, the goal for me is not to get to the end of this, is to have an adventure and see what happens along the way. I am fairly confident we're going to get killed at some point. But uh, yeah, just kind of see what happens. Hopefully we will be able to get a bus properly working or get some other cars do some wacky things we shall see really that i think is the water tower over there that i'm hoping the road is going to loop its way around to nope uh maybe okay we'll just follow the road for now don't binocular and drive is generally quite good advice uh, i am curious as far as game physics go uh, how car how stuff does in the boot see i remember my summer car it was wonderful fun but things did sometimes get a bit glitchy when carrying stuff around and i'm curious as to whether this game is going to have such troubles uh, whether we're going to have a nice well-behaved vehicle whether the stuff in the boot is going to get glitchy when we're barreling along um, yeah hopefully my water situation is going to be okay uh, this tower up ahead is actually just off the side of the road. That is all good. We can go and grab this. Not too many rabbits. A few rocks around the place, but not too many uh, rabbits whatsoever. Uh, I did also 
again was reading reading the comments apparently the rabbits if you are sat in a seat of some description the rabbits cannot get you so that is a useful thing to know if all is going horrifically horrifically wrong this is when i find a water tower that has nothing in it that would be just my luck uh right we will come to a halt what i might do uh, we can probably go explore it here now um ugh. thanks bright sun turn all of this off uh can't see a bloody thing. Do we actually have anything else in here? Is this all we have? Um, that is all we have, basically. I was kind of surprised. You expect... What the hell was that? Like a light? Strange lighting going on. There. Uh, come on. Come on. Right. Let's pick up this. Ugh. <laughs> no idea how well this works. Uh, having never tried to do this on the game before. Um, right, drop that. So, no, we want... Okay, that, to, to do that maybe, and then open that, and then pick up that, and do I do... Do I actually have to fill it like that. I feel like that's not how this works. Oh no, it does! It is legit working! Holy crap, it got heavier. So that is a legit... That does actually... Is actually how you have to do it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold <laughs> on. I was farting around. I actually thought there was going to be something come up and tell me. Like, at, like to click and fill, but no, no, you actually... That's... I kind of like that. I like the little details. I mean, as annoying as it was that we pissed all the water away um, before, how do I... Uh, I don't know how to stop it from wasting. Okay. There we go. Um, yeah, as much as it's kind of annoying that we dropped all the water and... Oh, it's got very dark. It got very dark very quickly here. Um, you know what? I can't see if there are any rabbits. So, I'm just going to do the sensible thing and quickly go and hide in my car and we can fall asleep and uh, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> but yes, I like I like the little details. I like the fact that A, that works for filling up. There might be another way to fill it up, I don't know. But I do like the fact that that is a thing that works. Um, and I like the fact that you can kind of end up I say making mistakes by like spilling stuff out of the radiator because, you know, in this sort of adventure, that is the sort of dumb stuff that would happen or radiators would crap out and yeah, give me that sort of level of detail. That is always really cool. Um, that is definitely sealed up. I'm going to take one of these uh, that is empty and while we're probably going to end up wasting some of the water doing this, I feel like it's worth after everything we have... Uh, ended up going through here. I feel like it's probably not a bad idea to try and... F oh, I didn't open it. See, little things like that. Little things like that. Uh, yoink, there we go. <laughs> yeah, fill up the... I mean, I hope this is the exciting content you were wishing to see. It is full of water. That's... So we, we have nicked all of the water. We, we are a bit wasteful here, I'm not going to lie. We are a smidge wasteful in terms of our gathering of resources. I do wonder whether there's anything at the top, but I don't think I can get up there. And I think if I try, the chances of me falling off and dying are far higher than the chances of me being successful. Uh, right. Uh, oh. Where was the road? It was over here somewhere. That looks like the road. Okay, we're just outside of render distance for the power lines. Uh, power lines slash street lamps, because they do they do both jobs, I guess. Right, back onto the road we go. Now, we knew that water tower was there before we set off, pretty much. We saw that there last time. Uh, after here, I don't know what we're going to see, really. Uh, we're going to try and get on the road. We're going to have to hope... I mean, okay, what our biggest problem is going to be? We're good for water, so we're not going to overheat the car. We've got plenty of oil in this. 
that's gonna be fine. We have got a fair amount of petrol. Not crazy amounts, uh, but it should be enough to keep the vehicle going, although I was just looking at the fuel gauge, it looks a little bit alarming, but you know, we've got enough petrol to be getting on with. The tyres are in good nick, we've got some spares if something goes wrong. If we have a crash and the doors fall off, it's annoying, but it's not going to stop us from continuing our journey. The car actually does drive fairly well. Um, it could probably do with better tyres. Like, nothing's, nothing's in such a terrible condition that I want to necessarily waste resources on fixing it up. I feel like we're everything's in good enough condition that, uh, yeah, but the, the, I don't want to go racing the resources just yet. I'm going to do the classic thing, the classic video game thing, where you save your health potions or whatever it is, oh, until you really need them, or you, you keep saving them because you think you're going to really need them at some point, and then you end up completing the game having never used them. I am probably going to end up doing that with the resources I have here because I always expect there to be some massive calamity, and yeah. <laughs> Maybe we will never use the magic spray bottle, although I feel like the chances of us tearing a tyre off the car or puncturing a tyre or something is quite high, let's face it. Maybe we'll need it to fix up a bike or something, or a trailer. I mean, those wheels may come in very handy to go on a trailer if we find one somewhere along here. At the moment, we don't seem to be seeing any buildings. Uh, the reason I'm not moving the camera around too much is these cars are difficult to drive, and I do not want to have a silly accident. Uh, we really don't want to be wandering around and having a big crash. You know, if we can avoid it and everything, uh, we have just got a light come on. Is that the petrol light? I don't know what the yellow light means. I'm hoping it's not a petrol light, because if that is a petrol light, we're in massive trouble. Because, uh, I mean, we, uh, there's something over there. Oh, there's something over there. That is one of the big... I want to call it a fire station, but I don't know why. I, th I think the reason I want to call it a fire station is it vaguely reminds me of the thing from DayZ. The, I think it was a fire station that was from DayZ slash armor that were kind of like this, and I guess like post-apocalyptic, my brain has just gone there. Uh, so that, uh, yeah, don't ask why. I could be completely wrong. Oh! A wheel has fallen into my lap. Uh, <laughs> Go back into the, go to the back seat, please, wheel. That is very... I don't need you here. Handbrake on. That open. Get out there. Bloody wheels. Come here. Right. Open the door. You can go in the back of the car. No, clonky, clonky, clonky. And that can sit in there. Right. Hmm. Okay, well, nothing around here. Uh... Hopefully something in here that we can pick up that is worth our while. There is a spray can. There is some more water. Of course, all the water in the world is available here. Uh, naturally. Anything on the roof? No? This is a surprisingly empty location. Don't really like that. Uh, what are you? Well, oh, cigarettes. Got no need for them. Uh, some gas. Well, that is good. We'll need that. <laughs> just, just, just throw it off the top, it's fine. There's an arm, we definitely don't need that. Uh, ah, stuck on a ladder. Come on, moron. Oh god. Can we... Oh god, we're having trouble with physics and stuff. There we go. That's quite good. What the hell is that? Ah, okay, that's the siphon. Ah, helpful stuff. We will take one of them with us as well. Uh, whoop. Right. Uh, now, oh, oh, God. Can I not... I thought there was a way to have it in your... Oh, that wasn't even drop it off the edge of the world. Uh, it's off the edge of the world. Just drop it down to here. There we go. We'll go around and we'll pick all of that stuff up at the end. Still want to know what that door there is for that goes out into the abyss. Who knows? Uh, we will We will probably never get to find out. And on the roof, there is bugger all. This has been a thoroughly boring locale. Uh, there is... So on the road, there's another building, another water tower. I don't know how far actual sites of interest take to spawn in. 
That building over there looks promising. Looks about more promising than this bloody place. This place looks crap. Uh, I want to go across onto the roof. I think I've got to fall out of... Oh! This window. That's not dangerous at all. Sun visor, don't need one of them. Actually, I mean, they might come in handy. Ah, another magic spray bottle. Sweet! Uh, nothing good down there, though. This has not been a great place uh, for stuff. Does that look weird and out of place on the side there? I'm trying to figure out if more strangeness I can pick up. It's like a bucket sticking off the top of here. What the hell is that? I don't know. I can't do anything with it. So I'm going to not worry about it. Maybe it's just part of the the thing, part of the setup. Uh, right. Okay, so I think maybe the fuel light comes on when it goes less than 5 litres, but we've only used like 0 0.1 of a litre in our journey over here. So I'm going to not worry too much about that. Uh, we'll take the snake, we'll fill up the pet box, well, so we'll take whatever petrol we've got here. We'll take the snake in case we do need it. Uh, yoink. Okay, you can't really throw that. <laughs> it's trying to be lazy. And uh, yoink. There we go. Trying to carry both things at once. We don't have to come back for something. Yes, I am that lazy. This can go in the boot. The boot of many goodies. Lovely stuff. And this can... Well, also kind of go. Not in the boot. But this can go in the petrol tank. Hopefully that has worked. Is that empty? Yep. Is that car? Well, not full. It has more. Okay, boot of many good things. Yoink. Oh. Yoink. Right. Let the journey continue. We're going to go to that house. I think that is going to be our next best bet. If we can get along to there, see what we can find. I mean, if we can find... A trailer would be helpful. A trailer would be really helpful. Kind of, kind of could go for one of those. Um, I think we're going to kind of. So if if we want to make a proper a proper plan rather than be half arsing any attempts at going for different vehicles, etc., we're going to want a trailer. We're going to want to be able to carry decent amounts of stuff, whether that be fuel, whether that be water, whether that be oil. Um, so. You're yeah, going to need to try to carry that. I guess you can put, fit the barrels in the back of this car to an extent. They're going to rattle around. I don't know whether they can injure me. Like, that tyre that smacks us in the back of the head. Like, in, the, theoretically, that would hurt like crap. But I don't know whether... I don't know. I know you can get injured in crashes. But, uh... I don't know what, how it all translates. So, we might find out at some point. This is the wiggliest of roads. That building is not as big as I thought it was going to be, if I'm honest. I did think it does look like a very, very small shed. Um, I was maybe hoping for more. I don't know what I was hoping for more of. Ah. Curious. Okay, so we've got another... Actually, it's not a light bar. It's just... The, okay, maybe the thing I saw was not a light bar. It's just like a metal girder. Uh, can I just, like, stick you like an antenna? <laughs> yep! <laughs> Sure. That's great. That's that's wonderful. Ooh. <gasps> Holy crap! We've found a workshop! Oh, this is cool. I like this. We've found an engine that's empty of stuff. What are you? You look like a fire extinguisher, maybe? Oh, we have a workshop. What are you? A bumper? Oh, I don't know, like a front fascia, essentially. There is bits and pieces over here. There's a coolant tank full of alcohol. That's not how you cool the bloody car, you moron. No wonder your vehicle didn't work. Uh, we've got some water in there. We've got some empty. We've got a yellow spray can if we want to go for that. We've got some more water. Plenty of water about. Okay. Okay. Is there anything outside? Sometimes these places will have stuff outside. Doesn't look like it. I mean, it's a serious bit of satellite kit on the well, satellite radar kit on the roof. I can't actually get onto the roof. That's annoying. I like to get on the roof of these places. Can I not glitchy jump my way up? 
Normally you can. Damn it, that lip's stopping me from doing glitchy jumps. But that's not very fair, is it? Bloody game. Uh, let's try. I mean, we don't actually really head off towards that water tower. I feel like we're kind of good. That's that's dangerous last words saying, oh yeah, I'm fine. I feel like we're good for water and everything. Okay, we've got a sponge. We'll take that with us. Oh, it's always useful to have a sponge. Or three. However many we can get, really, to go in the car. Uh, do I take an engine with me? I mean... It's kind of tempting. It's kind of tempting. There's one litre of blood. What happened? What, what happened to... Okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna try something here. I don't know whether this is gonna work. Uh, can we? Oh, can I very glitchily? Okay, game. Look, I'm really sorry. I know you're not gonna like me doing this, but okay, we're gonna stick that in there. Where did the other one go? Okay, and then if we. Uh, try and uh, basically try to create the most bodged thing on the roof. I don't know if I can break my car doing this. Uh, if I manage to ping my car off into space, it's going to be both very funny and very annoying. Um, so if I was to like... Ah! It's very slidey on here. You know what? Where did it go? There it is. Right, let's just climb on the... Come here. Come here. There we go. Now, let's climb on the back. If I, like, create really dodgily, but if we can create, like, this. Don't think the bike's going to sit nicely on there somehow. This is the dodgiest way of doing stuff imaginable. But maybe, maybe if we, like, hook the bike onto it. I'm going to bet a, mm, I guess I have a million pounds it doesn't work, but then knowing how my luck would be, probably bloody will. Uh, <laughs> I hope it works. Ah, oh, look, we've got a bed and everything. This is quite nice, to be honest. Um, yeah, this is, this is relatively chill as far as um, the long drive goes, as far as the apocalypse goes. I wonder what the, I wonder what the, the signal gets us. Do we get TV? Maybe? Do we have internet? Holy crap! Could we have internet? Um, I can't imagine there's much on, but you know, you, know, you never know really, do you? Uh, right, what are you full of? Anything useful? I think it said empty, but I'm going to pick it up just to be sure it is empty. Crap. Uh, right, the, we'll take this with us, of course. Now, I have just realised, I filled all of that stuff up, all those water things up, I don't actually use any of them to fill up the radiator in my car. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm not an idiot. I say that. Well, you all know the truth. I am. Uh, the one I want is at the back, isn't it? Of course it bloody is. That one there is also full of water, but I'm not going to empty that one just yet. Can I have that, please? Thank you. Uh, right, that is the one full of water. There is nothing around to give me grief with this. See, I mean, this car will run with the little bits of water on it. Uh, right, so we just fill that up. Still got 20 litres with us. We can head, continue onwards with our journey of... Okay, that's not looking too bad. Now, place your bets as to whether this is going to actually work. We've got loads of the uh, spray bottles. Which is cool. Yeah, place your pets. Do you reckon this car with my iffy makeshift... Wait. Hold on. Was this full of... Oh, that's the one full of water. I thought I saw something that said gas. It must have just looked over the... Uh, that's the, the fuel tank. Is that going to really work? Maybe if I had another metal bar. Do we have another metal bar anywhere? Is there one in here? I mean, we can, it can be wishful thinking. I don't think there is going to be one. Half tempted to take the crappy engine, but I don't have space for it at the moment. That's the thing full of blood. I don't know what these things are. Can I do anything with it? 
It looked like a fire extinguisher. Oh, I can't like attach it. No, we can't use that as a thing. Fine, we'll just chuck you up. No, I didn't go up there. Wait, can I get up here? This might be the only building I've not been able to bloody climb in the game. Nope. No luck. No climbing of building. Yeah, just going to route around for parts. Just in case there's anything I can spy that would be of use. I don't think so, really. I mean, the, the radiator having alcohol in it is useless to me. Okay, well, we've had our first garage. Shall we see? I mean... There's no way this works, surely. Well, it's holding for now. I firmly believe it'll not hold for long, probably until the first big spin, the first big off. That is when we're going to come undone. I am astounded this has worked. I think I'd like another metal bar or two, I feel, to maybe balance that sort of stuff. But uh, for the moment, oh, it's working. That bump was scary. I didn't hear a crash. I am pleasantly surprised. Well, it does a bit. We have limited our top speed a little bit, I think, with all the added weight, but... There we go. Apparently there are hills. I've never really come across any hills. Apparently the bus can have some real troubles getting up hills. Not that I have ever actually seen any, really. Um, so unless further into the drive you start coming across some worse terrain. It has affected the handling of the car a bit. It drives very strangely. Not quite sure how best to describe it. Uh, but it certainly doesn't handle like it did before I stuck a bike on the roof, assuming it's still there. I mean, I didn't hear a crash and I have been watching the mirrors, and I think I would have seen it... I feel like I would have seen it fall off. I could be wrong, though. Uh, Alright, we're going to just let the car kind of coast to a... Let's see, just coast for a little bit uh, while... I don't want to, like, jam on the brakes. God, I can't actually see much. So the water tower looks like the only thing, but they've, those traditionally have had absolutely nothing of any interest outside of water. I've got 20 litres of the stuff. For the moment, I'm pretty good. Um, yeah... Oh, I heard clonking, but I think that was just the binoculars. Okay, there's a building down there. It looks like a petrol station. We'll get to there, and that'll probably be the end of this episode. But we don't know what we might find there, of course. It might end up being another epic episode, because I found something really interesting and cool. Who knows? Who knows? The garage was a neat little find. Not come across one of them before. Well planned. It makes me wonder like, what more building types there may possibly be. Like the little petrol station kind of hut you find along the side of the roads. I've seen them a couple of times. The big sort of fire station bit, seen them. The radio masts have never had anything worth my time, so I'm not even going to risk losing my bike going off after that one. Um, as I said, working on the assumption the bike is still on there. I think I would have seen it go tumbling off, but, you know, not sure. Here we go. We found... Oh! We found a bus! Again, another bus. This one actually does have wheels on it. Hello, bus. This is a nice little petrol station. Gee, look at this. See, everything's in good condition. I think the bike's still even on the roof. Right, we'll turn the car off. Out we go. <laughs> I cannot believe that works. That is awesome. I'm really happy about that. Okay, what have we got here? Some gas? Good. Some oil, good. Okay, not an empty barrel and a bus full of goodies, perchance. Uh, it does have an engine. Oh, it has an engine with a working uh, thing. There is oil in the tank. Is there diesel in it? That is going to be a good question. Where is the thing? For the diesel, not there. There it is. Ah, oh, it's empty. <laughs> well, next time out, maybe we put a bus engine into our car. No, we still won't have any diesel, though, would we? Still have problems. Ah, but maybe with, uh, maybe with the reset, something here will contain useful stuff. I do not know. We're going to fill this up with the old petrol that is here, because you know, might as well and everything. But yeah, that was the continuing long drive adventures 
we have... I mean, we've got ourselves into a better position. It was looking bad, but uh, now it is not looking quite as awful. It's not looking great and everything, but it could be an awful lot worse. Um, the oil tank, I mean, the oil is basically full. The coolant is good enough for now. Probably shouldn't go for that as an attitude, particularly. But still, I'm hoping that's pouring in the right place and not put oil in my radiator. Otherwise, we're going to have a really bad day, I fear. Uh, that is full, mostly of oil. Some water and some alcohol, but it's the car's working. So who am I to question the game? I have a feeling that you can sometimes find stuff down the wells, but I also have a feeling the chances of me breaking stuff is quite high. Um, so yeah, there's not much else out here. Uh, people said, did say you could find stuff from shooting the crates sometimes, but I'm not sure. <laughs> What is that as well? That was like a bumper. We wanted a plastic bumper on our car. You know what? I'm quite happy with how the car looks. Well, there we go. We have continued the adventure. We've made it. We've only been a little bit glitchy. And we've found a way to carry a bike until we get some useful parts for it. I guess I should have probably put the engine on the bike, really. That would have been a sensible thing to do. I just didn't even expect this to work. So, there you have it. Maybe. That is going to be it for this uh, for this video. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.